fatty acid is being utilized so RQ will decrease. If you give insulin, insulin will shift the glucose inside the cell. Insulin will shift the glucose inside the cell. Now cell will start more utilizing more and more glucose. Then RQ will increase. So in diabetic patient, RQ decreases. In diabetic patient, RQ decreases. On administration of insulin, RQ increases. Good. Vinay. So of in diabetic patient, more and more fatty acid is being utilized, so RQ will decrease. In no, in diabetic patient, if you give insulin, that insulin will shift glucose inside the cell. The more and more glucose will be utilized, RQ will increase. Clear? Now, we come to enzymes. Yes, this is an important topic. Every time question can be asked. Yes, in this competitive and non-competitive inhibition they ask frequently yes we have read so many things about enzymes and vitamins most of the question has been covered but even then you can't skip few points enzymes are all enzymes are protein i have discussed except ribozyme ribozyme are rna having enzymatic activity all enzymes are protein so they are heat labile we found that if you heat a Yes, suppose this is enzyme. In this enzyme, when we increase temperature, enzyme activity increases. Yes, this is enzyme, enzymatic activity. When we increase temperature, enzymatic activity increases. As you increase temperature, definitely enzyme will work better. Okay, but after at a particular temperature, proteins are denatured. You know proteins are denatured by heat so after a particular temperature the enzymatic activity decreases so what is the temperature curve for enzyme temperature curve of enzyme is bell shaped this is bell shaped this question is asked temperature curve of enzyme means when you increase the temperature enzymatic activity increases but at a particular point that enzymatic activity become maximum if you increase further temperature these proteins are started denaturing and the enzymatic activity decreases so this is bell shaped bell shaped in the same way ph curve is also bell shaped so we now we know that different enzymes work at different temperature properly and different pH properly. Yes, you know that many enzymes, yes, they are neutralized in gastric pH. So different lysosomal enzymes can't work in blood. Yes, because lysosomal enzymes are trained or habitual to work in a part at a particular acidic pH. Okay. Ribozyme RNA having enzymatic activity ribozyme, peptidyl transferase is ribozyme, small nuclear RNA is ribozyme. Okay, what is holo enzyme? Holo enzyme is apo enzyme plus cofactor. Cofactor, any fact, yes, holo enzyme is made up of apo enzyme plus cofactor. Cofactor, any factor which help the enzyme is cofactor. Cofactor. Any factor which help the enzyme is cofactor. Cofactor may be organic or may be non-organic. If it is organic, we gave a special name that is coenzyme. Means if cofactor is organic, we said coenzyme. And if cofactor is non-organic, just like metal, no separate name given. We found that coenzyme example of coenzyme just like vitamin b1 biotin they are organic compound and acting as cofactor that's why they are coenzyme while metal iron copper they are cofactor but not coenzyme metals are cofactor but not coenzyme now you will write all coenzymes are cofactor but all cofactors are not coenzyme. All coenzymes are cofactor, but all cofactors are not 
coenzyme you can easily remember yes metals are cofactor but not coenzyme metals are cofactor but not coenzyme all coenzymes are cofactor but all cofactors are not coenzyme metals are cofactor but not coenzyme what is prosthetic group if if cofactor is covalently attached or tightly attached tightly attached or covalently attached enzyme if cofactor is tightly attached to enzyme that is called prosthetic group this type prosthetic valves prosthesis in ortho yes they are tightly attached so if tightly attached then it is prosthetic group clear so holo enzyme is apo enzyme plus cofactor cofactor if tightly attached that is a prosthetic group now before moving further a question was asked in names eight nine year back but can't be skipped this is chymotrypsin chymotrypsin is a proteolytic enzyme cut polypeptide chain it cut a polypeptide chain suppose this is a polypeptide chain chymotrypsin will come and will cut it this chymotrypsin we found that this portion is called active site active site is made up of catalytic site plus binding site we found that in chymotrypsin this mouth like structure this is a cartoon mouth like structure is active site this active site is made up of two part one is s that is catalytic site seri these h and a histidine and aspartate histidine and histidine and aspartate are binding site so catalytic site binding site we found that yes binding site is histidine and aspartate so why they are called catalytic site why they are called binding site i just give you example suppose i had chymotrypsin i cut this polypeptide chain i close my lips binding site teeth are cutting site catalytic site okay we found that there are so many enzymes which have same catalytic triad h s a and they are proteolytic enzyme so we found that trypsin chymotrypsin elastase all these have these three enzyme so three three amino acid at their active site that's why all these three enzymes cut polypeptide chain with the help of serine that's why they are called serine protease so trypsin chymotrypsin elastase are called serine protease because protease why protease because they cut polypeptide chain why serine because their catalytic site is serine this catalytic triad is there yes serine protease have these catalytic triad hasa h s a हस रहा है देख लो हसा हा हस रहा है मुंह खोल के सो वाई आई एम टेलिंग यू लाइक दिस बिकॉज वी फाउंड दैट ए क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्क दे सेट दैट देर इज ए टेक्निक साइड डायरेक्टेड म्यूटाजेनेसिस इन साइड डायरेक्टेड म्यूटाजेनेसिस वी वॉन्ट टू मेक ए प्रो वी वॉन्ट टू मेक एन एंजाइम having very high enzymatic activity yes i want to make a chymotrypsin having very high enzymatic activity i know that most of the mutation the function of protein is decreased but i have discussed that gain of function mutation there was one gain of function mutation can you tell me the answer we have, where you have discussed we have discussed gain of function mutation 
most of time whenever mutation occurs the function of protein decreases to, but few examples are there where k no function is there so we want a chymotypsin having very high enzymatic activity suppose a person is having digestive problem i will give a chymotypsin it will digest the complete compound or food so that is that can be used for commercial purpose that's why i am doing experiment i want to make an enzyme which is having very high enzymatic activity yes i give you hint that the gain of function mutation in lipid metabolism okay yes hypercholesterolemia now mention enzyme having very high enzyme activity i want we know very good pcsk9 we know this is the messenger rna in this messenger rna there is uca uca code for seri messenger rna uca code for serine and we know this messenger rna make a chymotypsin in this chymotypsin at this catalytic site there is serine this is normal what i did i tried mutation i muted mutation i changed this uca cca cca code for proline and i made a i made a made an enzyme in this enzyme from this messenger rna there would be proline a yes, cca code for proline so in place of serine there would be proline so what i did i am doing mutation site i know this technique is site directed mutagenesis i am doing mutation at a particular site i did point mutation i changed one nucleotide u to c and by changing the one nucleotide at active site catalytic site serine is replaced by proline now i will check the enzymatic activity of this enzyme if this enzymatic activity of this enzyme is usually decreased most of time you will find that the enzyme activity of enzyme will be decreased so we are doing experiment again and again serine with proline leucine lysine valine histidine aspartate glutamate suppose we are replacing this amino acid and we found that by replacing it with glutamate its enzyme activity is increased and then we will use this chymotypsin for commercial purpose will use this chymotypsin for commercial purpose yes enzymatic activity if enzymatic activity is increased then we will use it for commercial purpose so question was asked that in this we are changing only one nucleotide so this messenger rna is oligonucleotide although i have shown this mutation at messenger rna but mutation are done at dna level yes in site directed mutagenesis what question was asked question was asked that oligonucleotide oligonucleotide with single base change oligonucleotide with single base change is used in the answer was site directed mutagenesis yes oligonucleotide messenger rna is oligonucleotide we have changed only single base u to c so oligonucleotide with single base change is used in site directed mutagenesis Okay, clear. Now we come to next International Union of Biochemist, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. There are seven classes. We have already little bit idea about these classes. Class one is oxidoreductase. Any reaction wherever oxidation and reduction is occurring, oxidoreductase. Oxidoreductase is again sub classified into four types. One is dehydrogenase. I told you. wherever you find the word dehydrogen is complete by chemistry removal of hydrogen hydrogen is taken up either by nad fad 
और NADP. What is oxidase? Oxidase also remove hydrogen, but hydrogen acceptor is oxygen. Yes, this is very very important. Oxidase also remove oxidase also remove hydrogen but hydrogen acceptor is oxygen i am very very important because you will find that you all have learned that in electron transport chain complex 4 electron transport chain complex 4 you remember that complex 4 the name of complex 4 please do comment what is the name of complex 4 in electron transport chain? Complex 4 was cytochrome C oxidase and in complex 4 cytochrome C oxidase hydrogen is taken from cytochrome C and given to oxygen. Yes, oxidase give hydrogen. Oxidase also remove hydrogen but give to oxygen. So, Yes, complex 4 is called cytochrome C oxidase because it takes hydrogen from cytochrome C and give to oxygen. So, dehydrogenase remove hydrogen and give to NAD, FAD or NADP. Yes, oxidase remove hydrogen and give to, yes, oxygen. Clear? Okay. Oxygenase. Oxygenase means join oxygen. If oxygenase join one atom of oxygen, this is called monoxygenase. Monoxygenase will join one atom of oxygen, that's why OH group, group will be formed. O join here monoxygenase. RH oxygen join ROH. OH group is hydroxyl group, that's why monoxygenase is also called hydroxylase. Monoxygenase is also called hydroxylase. Okay. Dioxygenase will join two atom of oxygen dioxygenase homogentisate oxidase is dioxygenase cryptophan pyrolase is dioxygenase so if you say what is the new name of homogentisate oxidase new name is homogentisate dioxygenase what is the new name of cryptophan pyrolase tryptophan dioxygenase peroxidase you all know glutathione peroxidase example glutathione peroxidase so these are example of oxidoreductase transferase i have already told you that all kinases are transferase in few enzymes there is no need to get confused in question they ask transaldolase name itself include trans so transferase transketolase transferase trans and aminase transferase glucose to glycogen glycogen synthase Glucose to glycogen, glycogen synthase, glycogen synthase is, please do reply, glycogen phosphorylase, glycogen to glucose, I told you the mechanism of glycogen synthase, how glycogen synthase work, I told you the mechanism, okay, so glycogen synthase is, yes, transferase, so now you onward you will remember glycogen synthase, glycogen phosphorylase both are transferase means rate limiting enzyme rate limiting enzymes of glycogen metabolism are transferase I told you all synthase are lies, but glycogen synthase is transferase. Yes, all synthase are lies, but glycogen synthase is transferase. If you remember, I told you that how this reaction occur. Yes, you remember that that this glycogen synthase transfer glucose molecule from UDP glucose to pre-existing glycosal any enzyme which transfer a group is classified as transferase classified as transferase clear so let me change your answer hydrolase hydrolase cut a bond with addition of water all proteolytic enzymes are hydrolase glycosidic bond arginase is hydrolase question 
so all digestive enzymes are hydrolase i have already discussed lice cut a bond or join a bond with that use of energy name itself include hmg coenzyme a lice arginosuccinate lice now you will remember you will remember this aconitase enolase and fumarase because yes th these are to be marked up these things are to be marked up and these are lies simple decarboxylase also lies histidine to histamine lies glutamate to GABA lies tryptophan to serotonin lies okay so these are lies isomerase mutase is isomerase racemase is isomerase synthetase use atp synthetase is ligase carboxylase use atp is ligase ec number six translocase i told you seventh class yes potassium and calcium now mechanism of action enzyme action one concept came that how these enzyme works that lowering of activation energy suppose this is reactant the energy level of ground state of reactant this is the energy level of product normally from high energy to low energy it should flow very simply like this but we found that no 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 when reactant will react they require activation energy means these reactant will be taken up to this level will be taken up to this level from ground state to this level this is activation energy okay then they will be converted to product this is activation energy means it's not so simple life is not so simple reactant can't directly convert to product first of all they should go to this level and then just like we all mbbs can go to can do our md very easily very nicely very efficiently but we have to achieve a level need pg yes this level that is activation energy and according to one mechanism of enzyme action enzyme yes it was said that if you enzyme is there the activation energy reaches like this so lower the activation energy not so many questions yes simply enzyme action lowering of activation energy second concept came how enzyme works that is michaelis menten hypothesis michaelis menten said that this is enzyme this is substrate enzyme substrate interact they make a complex enzyme substrate make a complex enzyme substrate complex when it dissociate it form enzyme and product so nothing is special very good example Ravi definitely yes I usually tell like this that you are preparing yourself then you will get activation energy if you are taking coaching your activation of energy it decrease very good example yes yes enzyme bind with substrate to form enzyme substrate complex when it released it form product nothing important nothing new actually michaelis menten was so influenced michaelis menten was so influenced to our movies of rajni kant he saw one movie of rajni kant rajni kant chingam bomb chingam bomb so Rajnikanth chingam bomb he saw and made a uh, concept that enzyme bind with substrate enzyme is Rajnikanth substrate is chingam enzyme substrate complex interaction occur when it dissociate it form product chingam bomb of Rajnikanth 
so enzyme bind with substrate to form enzyme substrate complex when it dissociate it form product and he gave a, an equation if you want to calculate the velocity of reaction at a particular substrate concentration you can calculate by this reaction difficult reaction v maximum into substrate concentration upon substrate concentration plus so velocity is equal to v maximum into substrate concentration upon substrate concentration plus km yes what is the concept suppose i took this solution in this solution i take ideal ph ideal temperature temperature is ideal ph is ideal and in this solution i took 10 molecules of enzyme 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 enzymes i took and each enzyme is having one active site each enzyme is having one active site so you can say in this solution i took 10 enzyme 10 active site and what i did why added one substrate having one active site sorry one substrate one enzyme having one active site would come and will bind to substrate will convert into product so you will say what is the velocity of this reaction you will say velocity of reaction is one substrate is converted to one product in unit time clear <clears throat> again i take i took sample in this 10 molecules of enzymes were there 10 active sites were there i added one substrate one enzyme came one bind to one enzyme one substrate one enzyme bind to one substrate and modified and make product in a unit time you will say velocity of reaction is one product in unit time now you increase substrate concentration you increase substrate concentration to five now five enzyme having five active site would come and will convert five substrate to five product the you will say the velocity is of five product in unit time you added you added 10 substrate all the 10 active site would come will bind to substrate and will convert to product in unit time you will see velocity is 10 product in unit time clear if you increase the further substrate concentration to 15 now 15 enzyme will come no 15 enzyme only 10 enzyme if you increase the substrate concentration to 15 substrate if you added 15 substrate in the solution 10 enzyme will come 10 enzyme will bind to 10 substrate will convert 10 substrate to 10 product in the same unit time velocity will remain same so you can say <coughs> if i plot a graph between substrate concentration and velocity as i increase substrate concentration as i increase substrate concentration velocity also increases velocity also increases when i took this example when 10 substrates are there then velocity becomes this after that 11 substrate 12 substrate 15 20 200 400 velocity will remain same this is called v maximum because v maximum is achieved you can say this is v max is achieved when all active sites all active sites are occupied by substrate achieved when all active sites are occupied by substrate clear v max if i take exactly half of v max half of v max then if i extend this graph this is substrate x axis is having substrate concentration this is called km km is substrate concentration at which velocity of reaction reaction is half of v maximum half of v max 
so km is the substrate concentration yes again i say i took this example i so told you when all active sites are occupied by substrate then you can convert all these substrate to product in a unit time that would be called v maximum if you further increase substrate concentration velocity will not increase if you take half of v maximum and you found this half of v maximum is achieved at this substrate concentration we said michael is constant km km is the substrate concentration at which velocity of reaction is half of v max clear so when we wanted to know the velocity of reaction by this equation by this graph this is hyperbolic curve hyperbolic curve so we found that this was not feasible yes you all have heard that if curve is linear then it would be very easy to cal for calculation it is difficult for calculation but if linear graph very easy to calculate so that's why we were searching that how can we make the graph of enzyme linear then we found that if i plot a graph if i plot a graph between one of one upon substrate concentration and one upon velocity what i said if i plot a graph between one upon substrate concentration at one upon velocity i will find a linear curve if i plot a graph if i plot a graph between one upon substrate concentration and one upon velocity i will find a linear curve and this is called line weaver burg plot or double reciprocal double reciprocal plot on this double reciprocal plot yes this is this intercept is one upon v max this intercept is intersect is one upon v max this intersect is i take different color one upon km okay so even if you don't remember just remember the name line weaver book plot and you will never afford to forget you will can't afford to forget this yes you will never forget this this is one upon v max now i am discussing competitive and non competitive inhibition in competitive inhibition substrate and inhibitor resemble each other structure similarity there is structure similarity substrate bind to active site inhibitor also bind to active site bind to active site inhibitor has the structure similarity to substrate inhibitor bind to active site when inhibitor bind to active site the affinity of enzyme for substrate decreases yes suppose i give you a simple example there is a mother who is having one child she is taking care very well ab do child hai there do two child she would not be able to care properly i don't use the word love because love would be same but care may affect okay kya kala hai to iska matlab pyar nahi karegi care nahi karegi yes yes means enzyme will have some affinity for inhibitor some affinity for substrate yes and affinity will decrease for the substrate affinity decrease km increased but v maximum remains same what does it mean means you can achieve maximum velocity v maximum remain same means you can achieve maximum velocity means we found that maximum velocity is achieved when all active sites are occupied by substrate so in competitive inhibition if i add so many substrate if i increase the concentration of substrate 10000 1 lakh 10 lakh 1 billion million okay billion billion and infinite there are chances that all active sites are occupied by substrate then v maximum can be achieved so v maximum remains same means v maximum can be achieved okay 
so v maximum remains same so 1 upon v maximum will be same in non competitive no competition no structural similarity no structural similarity bind to bind other than active site no change in affinity no change in affinity means it has no effect on this affinity no change in affinity so no change in km i usually remember non competitive right like this non competitive no change in km no change in km when no change in km then v max is decrease maximum velocity is decreased if you are running with a pit two bag backpack you will not be able to run on behind a girl very fast you may remember now you will never forget non competitive yes bag this inhibitor is bag v maximum will decrease so 1 upon v maximum will increased so if v maximum decrease 1 upon v maximum will increased now recently they asked this question yes what was the question i don't know but you must know with the simple mnemonic or you can say concept whenever a graph is given this is no graph of normal enzyme this is graph of inhibitor and this is v maximum you will remember v maximum v maximum is same v maximum is same both for enzyme and inhibitor this inhibition is please do reply if v maximum same competitive inhibition okay if you take line weaver burk plot if v maximum is same 1 upon v maximum is same this is normal enzyme this is inhibitor y intersect is 1 upon v max both inhibitor and enzyme yes yes normal enzyme yes 1 upon v maximum is same so this is competitive inhibition so you can easily differentiate between comp yes of line weaver book and this in this you can easily tell v maximum is decreased then it is non competitive yes in non competitive v maximum is decreased non competitive v maximum is decreased i don't search for km i usually say you will be able to solve question by v maximum most of time this if v maximum decreased 1 upon v maximum will increase yes this y intersect is increased 1 upon v maximum is increased so this is non competitive clear now this is question for pgi uncompetitive i write inverted u mnemonic i write inverted u and write km and v max km is decreased v max is decreased km is decreased v max decreased so uncompetitive both km and v max are decreased now i make mnemonic yes i make mnemonic that whenever you will see the graph of uncompetitive you will find the structure looking like u you can see in this this is not u this is not u this is not u this is not u but this is just like u in this 
yes line in your book book this is not you this is not you but this is you if you add this is clear so yes if you want to explain uncompetitive v maximum is decreased km is also decreased so v maximum is decreased so 1 upon v maximum increased km is decreased so 1 upon km is increased that is uncompetitive have you understood this please do reply heme synthesis heme synthesis heme is having four pyrrole ring yes four pyrrole ring joined to form four final ring four final ring are joined by methanyl bridge ch methanyl bridge and we found that this heme this four final ring having iron is present in hemoglobin heme is present in myoglobin heme is present in cytochrome c heme is present in cytochrome p450 catalase and no synthase tryptophan pyrophilase pyrolase uh, all these all these compounds enzymes have this structure inside them heme so this question is asked that heme is component of all these enzymes okay now question is asked to recognize they will give you the structure and they will ask to recognize this which it is europorphyrinogen or coproporphyrinogen or protoporphyrinogen porphyrin ring sorry europorphyrin ring coproporphyrin ring protoporphyrin ring you can easily recognize a p a p a p p a if a p a p a p p a is there europorphyrin Europor final ring. So how you will remember mnemonic U ARP. U matlab in English me U, Hindi me kehte hain ARP. Yes, Amadi party. Yes, I was little bit fast here only. Okay, competitive and non-competitive inhibition. What you will remember competitive inhibition? You will remember V maximum remain same. So one upon V maximum remain same. in non competitive no change in km and v maximum decreased so 1 upon v maximum increased now in this yes this inhibition is competitive why competitive because v maximum is same in this yes v maximum decreased that's why that's why non competitive clear in this v maximum 1 upon v maximum remain same that's why this is competitive line viewer book plot if we plot this graph yes between substrate and velocity then we find a hyperbolic curve but if we plot a graph between 1 upon substrate and 1 upon v then we get a linear graph and we found that in linear graph yes in linear graph in linear graph this portion is 1 upon v max okay slope of this graph is k upon v max even if you don't remember it's okay just remember that this portion is 1 upon v max and this portion is 1 upon k clear so i would be little bit slow don't worry so till now you all know competitive what you will remember in competitive inhibition v maximum is decrease v maximum remain same okay in non competitive v maximum is decreased so if v maximum is same to 1 upon v maximum would be same if v maximum is decreased 1 upon v maximum is increased so i solved the question on graph on the graph we all know this is v maximum in normal enzyme and in competitive inhibition yes 
v maximum remain same if v maximum remains same this is comparative inhibition if v maximum decreased v maximum decreased this is non comparative inhibition if line weaver burg plot yes if 1 upon v max is same this is same this is comparative inhibition if it is increased 1 upon v max is increased this is yes non cooperative inhibition clear and whenever you find uncompetitive yes rarely ask question pgi both km and v maxim decreased i made this u graph they will ask to recognize if you can see u that is uncompetitive in uncompetitive km is decreased and v maxim is also decreased clear okay dear now we found that this heme heme is having four pyrrole ring how many pyrrole ring four pyrrole ring four pyrrole ring joined to make four final ring these four final ring these these four final ring yes those these pyrrole ring are connected by methyline methyl base and this structure this structure is found in all these enzymes if you see the hemoglobin there are four heme heme myoglobin only one heme cytochrome c is having heme there in structure cytochrome p450 is also having this structure inside means all these enzymes are having this heme group inside their structure now they give structure and they ask to identify they will give like this a p a p a p p a this structure they will give and they will ask this structure is what is this you will say you will see o a p aap aap means aam aadmi party or aap matlab u uroporphyrin a4 acetyl a4 acetyl A4 acetyl. Okay, P4 propionyl. What is coproporphyrin? They will give the structure like this: that MP, 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 PM. This is yes, coproporphyrin. M4 methyl. M4 methyl. So coproporphyrin, yes, MP, 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 PM. Okay, these are four pyrrole ring, you know. Okay. So they will give you structure like this, and you will recognize MP, PM, PM is one, and your MP, PM. All the corporate is under the influence of nowadays MP, PM politician. so copro pmmp protoporphyrin yes yes mv mv vinyl and mp p m so you will remember if vinyl is there v is there protoporphyrin if methyl is there coproporphyrin yes mp 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 is there for coproporphyrin if ap ap is there then uroporphyrin they ask this question yes now heme synthesis how heme synthesis occur heme synthesis succinyl coenzyme a bind with glycine to form delta amino lavulinic acid by enzyme delta amino lavulinic acid synthase this is the rate limiting enzyme this may be present in hepatic tissue erythroid tissue type 1 is present in hepatic and most of the tissue type 2 is present in erythroid tissue we found that two amino lavulinic acid i usually say ala ala just like stethoscope ala two ala join 
if you join two ala yes and you remove ala at stethoscope i made stethoscope and you do dehydratase if you remove hydrogen and two ala is joined are joined they will form a pore yes two amino labelling acid joined to form porphobilinogen this is just a mnemonic two ala joined i joined two ala yes and they form porphobilinogen yes this porphobilinogen is converted to yes hydroxymethyl bilane in fact four molecules of porphobilinogen four molecules of porphobilinogen four molecules of porphobilinogen join one two three four to form hydroxymethyl bilane in this reaction ammonia is released and the name of enzyme is hydroxymethyl bilane synthase or other name is porpho bili nogen deaminase porpho bili nogen deaminase or hydroxymethyl bilane synthase two name of the same enzyme we found yes again i am saying i am doing heme synthesis i started succinylcholine bind with glycine to form delta amylolinic acid by ala synthase rate limiting enzyme it is present in third tissue hepatic tissue this ala dehydratase remove hydrogen by for four porphobilinogen yes porphobilinogen is formed four molecule of porphobilinogen join to form hydroxymethyl bilane and the name of enzyme is porphobilinogen deaminase or hydroxymethyl bilane synthase clear okay till now this hydroxymethyl bilane is spontaneously converted to spontaneously converted to yes europorphinogen 1 spontaneous and there is an enzyme europorphinogen third synthase convert hydroxymethyl bilane to europorphinogen third for the time being i say again i repeat ala dehydratase convert amino labelling acid to porphobilinogen this is normally inhibited by lead poisoning inhibit this also inhibit ferrochelatase okay this enzyme porphobilinogen deaminase or hydroxymethyl bilane synthase hydroxymethyl bilane is spontaneously converted to europorphinogen 1 that's why we say that this this enzyme this enzyme can be called as europorphinogen europorphinogen 1 synthase europorphinogen 1 synthase to so three name for the same enzyme three name for the same enzyme now europorphinogen converted to copropropinogen if i ask you what is difference between euro por euro and copro can you tell me what is the difference between euro and copro what is the difference please tell me i want answer yes co2 vs a and m means if i remove co2 it will be converted to methyl so that's the reason that here the name of enzyme yes in this there is d carboxy lays this enzyme is d carboxy lays euro and copro the only difference is co2 that is why this enzyme is d carboxy lays okay yes these two enzymes are oxidase oxidase and the last enzyme is ferrochelatase now
ऑक्सीडेज ऑक्सीडेज पैरोचिलेटेज डी कार्बोक्सीज सिंथेज एनी वन ऑफ दीज एंजाइम इज डिफिशेंट लीड टू पोर फायरिया एनी एंजाइम डिफिशेंट लीड टू पोर फायरिया नाउ आई विल मेक निमोनिक हाउ टू रिमेंबर पोर फायरिया यस एक्यूट इंटरमीडेंट पोर फायरिया इंटरमीडेंट आई इज लार्ज आई इज लार्ज यूरो पोर फायरोजन वन सिंथेस यस एक्यूट इंटरमीडेंट पोर फायरिया यूरो पोर फायरोजन वन सिंथेस अदर नेम ऑफ द सेम एंजाइम इज एच एम बी सिंथेस अदर एंजाइम इज पोर फोबिनोजन डी एम एन एज इफ दिस इज डिफिशेंट दैन इट इज एक्यूट इंटरमीडेंट पोर फायरिया इन दिस देर वुड बी नो पोर फायर इन रिंग वाट आई सैड नो पोर फायर इन रिंग no porphyrin ring formed so no photosensitivity no photo sensitivity yes porphyrin ring absorb light and emit the light of other wavelength that's why in porphyrias wherever porphyrin ring accumulate these porphyrin ring absorb light and emit the light cause yes photosensitivity but if porphyrin ring is not formed till now that no photosensitivity and acute intermittent porphyria present with acute abdomen yes you all know neuro visceral symptom neuro visceral symptoms clear neuro visceral symptoms clear got the point if 3 is deficient uroporphyrin 3 is deficient congenital atheropoietic porphyria Three is deficient, then it is congenital atheropoietic porphyria (CEP). So third looks like E. Third looks like E. Third looks like E. So you will remember very easily. Third looks like E. Porphyria cutanea tarda, cutanea cata toda. Kya cata? Kya toda? CO2. so d carboxylase only one d carboxylase is deficient which is deficient in porphyria cutanea tarda hydrity coproporphyria coproporphyrinogen oxidase is deficient hydrity coproporphyria protoporphyrinogen oxidase is deficient then it is variegate porphyria yes variegate ferrochilates is deficient then atheropoietic porphyria so you can easily remember two oxidases are deficient if coproporphyrinogen yes hydrocoproporphyria if coproporphyrinogen oxidase is deficient hydrocoproporphyria protoporphyrinogen oxidase variegate porphyria kata toda d carboxylase yes third looks like e yes all Or autosomal dominant. All porphyrias are autosomal dominant except congenital atheropoietic porphyria and atheropoietic porphyria. These are autosomal recessive. Autosomal recessive. Okay. Water soluble vitamin B1, thymine, active form means thymine pyrophosphate. Thymine pyrophosphate cofactor of for transcriptolase oxidative decarboxylation of alpha keto acid. I have discussed most of these things. Just go through these and you will find yes, most of the things has been covered. If you have any difficulty, just let me know. 